Hi everyone, welcome back to Chandan Logics. In this session, we will be going to discuss April 23rd current affairs. And also, at the end of our session, we will be going to discuss static part questions and as well as the concepts even related for our daily current affairs. Even from past one week concepts, I will be raising the questions in our session. And also, while we are discussing the descriptor session, we will be going through the concepts and as well as even including the questions too. Because the basic questions you need to know and as well as even regarding practice session, as I have said that, we will be going to discuss the static part, right? So, even in our previous session, I have informed that many of the questions will be raised for you people under the concept called Vice President. I think every one of you were ready to attend this questions, are you clear? Based on the concept called Vice President. And now, try to share this live interactive sessions with all your friends and also don't forget to click the like button. Then now, if we start our today's session, we will be going to start our session and begin our session with the descriptive concepts. So first, let me check how many of you were attending our live sessions if because this is the main objective. Yes, good evening Lakshmi. And now. Let me start the session with the descriptive sessions. Here co comes to our info that even if you want to download free PDFs of current affairs, just once join through Telegram channel. So how to join through Telegram channel and get access of current affair PDFs on daily basis. Here is a simple solution. Go through the description. In the description, we will be providing a link. Just click on the link and join through our channel. Are you clear everyone? And now, if I begin the session with the descriptive concept, so first let me discuss the concept under national news. Before going to explain the concept, here is my question is all about, try to answer the question, what is the capital of Gujarat? Let me check how many of you were perfect even with the concepts of static GK. Just this is, this is a simple question here for you people, at least about the states and its capitals, right? Yes, good evening everyone. Try to answer the question. Here is Gujarat capital. The question is all about. Next. You people need to answer in the comment section. I will be going through your comments. But first here, let me explain the concept. Why I have raised the question related for Gujarat. Because recently, Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi has been inaugurated some development projects in Gujarat and also in the district of Dahod district, which is in the southern area regional and which is in the state of Gujarat called the Dahod district. In this particular district, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been inaugurated some development projects. What are those development projects and what is the worth of the overall development projects? Let us discuss now. Here comes to the worth because here you have to focus on the worth of development projects Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been inaugurated because the main objective questions you can expect from the numerical areas is either the outlay of the project. Outlay is nothing but the cost of that particular project. Here comes to the all development projects worth this 22,000 crore rupees and also now if we can move into the concept what are those development projects in the state of Gujarat and in the district of Doha. If you can consider here water supply scheme which was constructed at Narmada river basin of 840 crore rupees and Dahud smart city scheme which is of rupees 335 crores and also these projects even includes integrated command and control center building, even storm water drainage system, sewage works, solid waste management system and rainwater harvesting system. So these are the including and some of the projects under the development projects in the state of Gujarat. Are you clear? So these are the development projects recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been inaugurated. So this is all about the concept. Now let me check how many of you have answered about Gujarat capital. Yes, Vidisha Gandhinagar. Prasanna Gandhi Nagar, <coughs> Lakshmi Gandhi Nagar, Sahana Gandhi Nagar, Madhavi Gandhi Nagar, Sirisha, Pavan Kumar, Lakshmi. <coughs> you have mentioned, yes, recently even in the state of Gujarat, 108 feet statue also inaugurated by Narendra Modi. Yes, Lakshmi, fine and good. And now, 
let you let you people check all the answers of Gujarat here whenever you'll be coming across the states you need to remember the formula called c square g this formula should be strike in your minds because whenever you will you'll be coming across the states in the current affairs you need to parallelly cover the concept called static part so here c square g is nothing but capital chief minister and as well as governor of any particular state whatever we were discussing in our session are you clear and here today in our session we have done with the concept called gujarat and moving to the capital gandhinagar major of you have mentioned a perfect answer very good and moving to the chief minister bupendra bhai patel and gujarat governor is acharya devrat if you are unaware about the chief minister capital and governor at least try to take a note in this particular session and then yes prasanna welcome to our sessions and daily at 4:30 pm you can join through our interactive sessions regarding current affairs and also try to share this info to all your friends and then next moving to the concept under appointments so here it is an appointment regarding the scientific advisor of government of india so here now i'll be going to explain even about the function and role played by the scientific advisor to the government of india and as well as here the here, today it is in current affair all about the person has been appointed as an principal scientific advisor to the government of india here is a person who is known as ajay kumar sud even you can have a glance over the image ajay kumar sud a member of science technology and innovation advisory council to the prime minister as a member now the person has been moved to the position of principal scientific advisor to the government of india and here moving to the tenure of the person of ajay kumar sud is all about the period of 3 years so for the period of 3 years the person is going to take charge as an principal scientific advisor for government of india and also now presently who is the person in the position of principal scientific advisor to government of india the person is known as vijay raghavan are you clear biologist k vijay raghavan is in the position and now vijay raghavan will be going to replace by the person called ajay kumar sud and then moving to the concept about the approval of the appointment here comes to all about the concept called appointments committee of the cabinet has done the approval about the appointment which is regarding principal scientific advisor to the government of india and you have to consider now all about the particular that is regarding the position and the post which is known as the principal advisor right so here the main objective of an advisor which is regarding the principal scientific advisor what is the areas he used he or she used to work here comes the position which all deals with here you can consider which it aims to provide the pragmatic and objective advices to the prime minister and the cabinet but the matters related to what here the matters related to science technology innovation and even regarding education and as well as you have to you have to consider here the departments even including with the government that means here as in principal scientific advisor the person's role is to give the advices which are matter related for science advancements technologies innovations etc even like collaborating with the government departments so here the advisor has to give an advices which is to the cabinet and also to the prime minister this is the function of principal scientific advisor which is to the government of india are you clear with this particular concept and then let me move to the next concept here yes <coughs> are you perfect with the concept if you have any doubts you can mention it in the comment section i'll be going through your comments i now here comes to all about the first question related to the concept under business is you have to consider here india post payment bank which represents ippb established year try to mention it in comment section because as you know people know that indian post payment bank is 100% government owned organization are you clear ippb is a 100% government owned organization so try to answer the question of established year when actually india post payment bank has been formed right 
because why I have raised the question is all about today we'll be going to discuss about fincluvation. So what does this fincluvation? Why actually IPPB is in current affair today? Because IPPB has come up with a joint initiative. This is all about fincluvation is a joint initiative and which was launched by India Post Payment Bank. And here, India Post Payment Bank under Fincluvation, it has come up with the two following categories of creditization and digitization. Even at the end of the session, I'll be going to explain about digitization and creditization, how this Fincluvation initiative will be going to work, right? First here, if we move to the concept, here on 21st April of 2022, your India Post Payment Bank launched the joint initiative which is named as Fincluvation, which is nothing but Fincluvation, Fintech, right? Financial technology, Cluvation, which represents financial inclusion. So, with this two terminologies, here the name has been derived, which is known as Fincluvation. The main objective for collaborating fin technology and as well as you have to con consider here along with the startup community because the main objective is to create the solutions which is based on the financial inclusion. What does this financial inclusion means? Financial inclusion is nothing but to provide the banking and financial services to all the classes of people without any discrimination is known as financial inclusion. Are you clear? Once again, I am repeating, financial inclusion is nothing but which is like providing and also like you can consider here assisting all the banking and financial services to all the people without any discrimination. That means to every individual without any discrimination either based on caste etc. Whether or even considering like gender discrimination too. So this is all about financial inclusion. So the major objective to come up with the initiative called Fincluvation is all about even it is getting closer for the startup communities also and also as I have said that it has linked with the two like, like two categories called digitization and as well as creditization even we'll be discussing but before going to the con that is about the two concepts first let me discuss here about Asadika Amrit Mahotsa that means 75th anniversary of India's independence as we well known and number of times we have done in our session Azadika Amrit Mahotsa that is India's freedom that is regarding India's independence celebrations that is 75 years of independence right so among these celebrations under a part of Azadika Amrit Mahotsa India Post Payment Bank has come up with the initiative called Fincluvation and now if you can move to the concept now Fincluvation will be going to act as an IPPB's permanent platform. That means this is for co-creating the financial inclusion solutions even with the association of the participating startups. Are you clear? That means here the financial inclusion even will be getting closer with the startup communities. That means the high advanced technologies even will be improved. That means here as I have said that creditization and digitization. Creditization is nothing but it actually means the developing inclusive Innovative, innovative credit products and which are in the line and targeting the customers to deliver the products at their doorsteps even by using the postal department that is all about creditization and moving to digitization about the payment system it is focusing towards the digital payments are you clear and even this is actually by the convenience by combining the digital payment technologies with the traditional services that is all about digitization so these were the two main categories has come up in the concept and the, in the initiative called Fincluvation. Are you clear? Fincluvation has actually the two terminologies which is known as financial technology and the financial inclusion. These were the two terms added and framed a word called Fincluvation. Are you clear? Advanced technologies for providing the banking and financial services to every individual. Are you clear? Without any discrimination. So this is the whole concept of Fincluvation, right? And now, as I have raised the question about IPPB established here, which is in the year 2018 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. As we know that just in the session begin, I have discussed that IPPB is the 100% government owned organization and headquarters is it New Delhi. Are you clear with India's, India Post Payment Bank initiative called Fincluvation? Are you clear? Try to take the notes which is including like you have to take a note right IPPB established your headquarters then moving to the initiative called Fincluvation and in that under that you need to take like startups communities and as well as digitization 
creditization and also one more point under the part of Asadika Amrit Mahotsa. Just as in straight and the shortcut points, just make a running notes so that it will be helpful for you. Yes, many of you have mentioned the answer regarding IPPB, right? Suhan 2018, Sirisha 2018, Prashant 2018, Varshita 2018. Okay, well and good. And now, let me move to the next concept which is under, here comes to the sports. So here, try to answer for the question, whatever the basic terminology, whenever you will be coming across the word called Kalo India University Games. Actually, when does Kalo India University Games has been started in India? The year you have to mention in it comment section, right? Now, why actually I have raised this particular question is, recently it is in current affair, right, regarding Kalo India University Games of 2021, even it has been launched a mobile app. So, what is the use of this mobile application? How this will be going to work? Now, let me discuss here. And then, here comes to the mobile application called Kalo India University, University Games of 2021 to check about the status and to give the, all the information related to athletes, event staff, like scheduled dates of these university games, right? So here the app has been launched. That is known as, you have to consider here, Kalo India University Games and this is actually in association with the Jane deemed to be university, right? You can have a glance over the index page which is regarding the app mobile application called Kalo India University Games related application, right? So either here you can check, right? like as an athlete or as, uh, and as an staff. So the related schedule, what are the events actually going to conduct in this particular university games? You can check every information through this mobile application. This is for the first of its kind, one of the mobile application has been launched. Why? Because in this month, that is in the month of April, actually on 24th of April, here the games and the prestigious event has been scheduled to be conducted in, you have to consider here, which is in the capital like, like Bangalore and you need to focus here what is the main objective to con that is to launch this mobile application. The main objective is that as to be working as an one-stop shop for all the information regarding the prestigious event and the sports event called Kalo India University Games of 2021. Are you clear? So this is in current affair. And now let me check how many of you have answered regarding about the Kalo India University Games, Lakshmi. <coughs> What's your doubt, Lakshmi? Something you have mentioned, mention it clearly. Whether Shamsir will be in live interactive sessions or not, is that your doubt? Yes, here moving to the concept called Kalo India University Games. Actually, if you can move to the concept, for the first time it has launched in the year 2020. Are you clear everyone? At least try to take the notes now itself in the session. In the year 2020, for the first time Kalo India University Games has been started. And now you can consider this is for the second edition. In 2022, this is the second edition. The sports has been, will be going to conduct from tomorrow. That is from 24th of April, this particular sports has been scheduled. And Kalo India University Games. So in the title itself, you need to consider University Games. And also Kalo India. That means this is the national multi-sport event, which is related for the university students and the athletes. So to identify the athletes and the students at the age group of 18 to 25 and to train them for international games like Olympics, Asian Games, right? So for selection of these games, that means here the national level games were like filtering the athletes and training them, then sending them to international level of sports and the games. So that is the main objective to conduct Kalo India University Games. And here, from across India, from all the universities, the athletes used to participate in multi-sports. Are you clear? This is all about Kalo India University Games, and this, which is also represented as KIUG. Are you clear? It is abbreviated as KIUG. And then, now if I move to the concept into important days. 
So here is an important day called International Mother Earth Day which is also known as World Earth Day celebrated on April 22nd recently every year every year on 22nd April this day used to celebrate and recently in our yesterday session also I have announced that on 22nd April World Earth Day and also it is known as International Mother Earth Day are you clear actually in the year 2009 United Nations has been renamed it like World Earth Day as an International Mother Earth Day and 2022 represents 52nd anniversary of this particular important day called World Earth Day or else International Mother Earth Day and then move into the concept called objective here the main objective is to spread the awareness among the people like have to protect and also if you can concentrate here how to protect the earth's well-being and encourage the people to support environmental protection as we know that even regarding about the global crime like global climate crisis right even it is worsening with the each passing day so to protect it and also to support environmental protection for the planet called earth here world earth day will be celebrated every year and also you need to focus there will be a theme for every year of world earth day and for 2022 the theme has been considered is invest in our planet is the theme what is the theme invest in our planet is the theme of world earth day of 2022 are you clear everyone if there is a question like world earth day or else international mother earth day answers should be same are you clear the question whatever it may be either they can frame like by using the word and the sentence called world earth day or else sometimes they can frame it with international mother earth day don't be confused between these two areas right and then if you want to take the notes just mention here as i have discussed just now when it actually officially renamed in the year 2009 and also 52nd anniversary of 2022 it has been celebrated regarding world earth day are you clear everyone i know everyone get ready as i have informed in the previous session that is to go through the concept called vice president of india right so now i'll be going to raise many of the questions for you people yes invest in our planet lakshmi <clears throat> 22nd april Now everyone try to answer for all the questions. So here comes to your first question. What rank does the office of vice president have in the country called India? If you can move to the options first, second, third or fourth. So try to answer the question until that let me explain here. Actually try to focus on the articles after the session. Articles 63 to 71. So here all these articles deals with Vice President of India. Are you clear everyone? In our today's session even nearly we will be going to cover 3 to 4 articles in the questions itself. Yes, but at least the remaining articles from 63 to 71 try to go through those after the session. Sahana 2nd, Varshita 4th, Sriram 4th. What rank does the office of vice president have in the country of India? Arundhati second. Try to share this live interactive session with all your friends. Because many of them were unaware regarding the live interactive session of current affairs. Lakshmi option B second. Krishna fourth. Sirisha second. Okay, Lakshmi, <coughs> Venkaya is the present Vice President of India. But here my question is all about what rank does the Office of Vice President have in India? Venkatesh, C madam, what is that? Option oh, C is third position, right? Okay. So now many of you have mentioned either fourth or else option B, right? So let me eliminate the option A and B, okay. Only one Venkatesh has mentioned regarding option C. Arif option B, but majority is you were people who are answering option B or also option D, right? Lakshmi. So here your answer is option B. 
what rank does the office of vice president have in the country it is second rank are you clear and for the first position it is president are you clear the first is president and the second is vice president this is the order and the ranks of the officials and the officers in india if you can move the concept here which comes to the article article 63 actually in our indian constitution which states that there shall be vice president of india this is the first and like the initial statement indian constitution presents in the article 63 as i have said that even a previous session one article what is the article article 66 what does article 66 deals with article 66 deals with the election of vice president right so here we have covered the two articles 63 and 66 what does 63 deals with which actually stated about the statement called that for india there shall be a vice president this is the statement deals with article 63 are you clear everyone at least try to take the notes here and president occupies the first rank moving to vice president in the second position and then moving to even one of the static question maybe in your previous year question papers also i have saw many times the question like who is the first vice president of india here comes to dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan are you clear even dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan acted for two terms as a vice president of india is yes? and then try to take the notes regarding the static part so that you can be perfect even when other questions can be raised even related to article 63 or else who is the worst vice president of india these questions you people can answer i now move into the next question here comes to what is the minimum age for qualifying to the post of vice president 25 35 21 or 28 and as you people when you were referring any of the concept either president vice president chief minister governor so in polity whenever you will be coming across this terminologies the procedure you need to follow is first you have to concentrate about that particular position or the post are you clear and then next you have to go through about the articles which deals about that particular post suppose here we were discussing about vice president as i have informed article 63 to 71 which deals with vice president so this is the second area and the third area you need to focus is about the necessary qualifications to get into that post is it clear and then moving to the third area is regarding the tenure or the term person is in that position and then moving to the next area is regarding the retirement that means what is the age of the retirement or else sometimes you can consider like even regarding the oath of office so these are some of the major areas you need to know while you are dealing with the concept under indian polity are you clear yes now let me check how many of you have answered regarding the age Vinisha thirty five, Krishna thirty five, Suhan thirty five, Sahana thirty five, Arundhati thirty five, Arif thirty five, Sirisha thirty five, Sri Ram twenty eight, Divya option B thirty five, Srikant thirty five, Lakshmi thirty five, Varshita thirty five. yes here comes to your answer is option b exactly correct only one of you have mentioned wrong answer i think so sri ram make it correct the minimum age for qualifying to the post of vice president is 35 and also venkatesh make it correct your answer should be 35 not 28 and here you people try to take the notes of this following minimum necessary qualifications to become a vice president in india first thing is that the person should be a citizen of india are you clear and the second is regarding the age he should have completed 35 years of age this is our question right and then moving to the third is he should be qualified for the election as a member of rajya sabha is a third criteria or else you can consider because why for rajya sabha since his primary function is to be the ex officio chairman of rajya sabha that is the main objective and also he should not hold any office for profit are you clear even under the union government or else state or else even any other local authorities too yes lakshmi 
try to take the notes everyone these four points is very necessary even you can expect the four questions from each and every point one one question so overall from the minimum necessary qualifications you can expect the four questions that is my main info even i have given you the detailed information of necessary for qualifications for being the vice president of india and then moving to the next question here the tenure moving to the term tenure of vice president is of how many years 2 years 8 years 4 years or 5 years try to mention comment section i'll be going through your comments tenure of vice president is for how many years 2 years 8 years 4 or 5 years whether your answers were right or wrong but just try to make perfect and also try to make a habit of answering the questions so that you can overcome your fear and some of the mistakes you can correct right sirisha 5 years sahana 5 suhan 5 years arif option d divya 5 years lakshmi 5 years vinisha 5 krishna 5 years shrikant 5 varshita reddy 5 years venkatesh 5 years yes can i expect some more answers or else can i reveal the answer here are you people thinking that 5 years is perfect answer once again think and answer those who have mentioned 5 years once recheck your answer Are you sure about the answer? Is it five years? Sharan, yeah, the five years. Let me check how many of you are perfect and confident with your answer. <clears throat> Is five years the final answer of everyone? Sudhakar four, Srikanth four, yes, Sirisha, are you confident? Is that perfectly five years? Based on present political party, which in rules? Chandu five years. Sure, Sri Ram. Okay, well and good. Arif is. Sudhakar four. Sri Nivas yes. Lakshmi is. Anantra four. So here comes to all your answer is. Option D. Five is your answer, right? So just to test you people, are you confident about your answer, or else if one of the person has mentioned the same thing, you are copy pasting or not? Just I have checked. Yes, Suhan. Okay. Yes, fine and good. Here comes to all about regarding the term of the office of vice president. The article involves is Article sixty seven. Are you clear? Article sixty seven of our Indian Constitution, which deals with the term of office of vice president. is it clear so here you can consider the vice president shall hold the office for the term of 5 years from the date on which the person hold that particular office as an vice president from that date of holding the office to for the 5 years it will be in count are you clear so here the article involves is article 67 and in our today's session we have discussed article 63 article 66 in our yesterday session and the other article is article 67 that means the remaining articles you need to revise once after the session are you clear here comes to 64 65 68 69 70 and 71 these were the remaining articles nearly six articles were there which were left but we have covered the three articles overall nine articles nearly which deals with all about have to concentrate with the concept called vice president yes now moving to the next question is for how long here can the vice president serve as the president make the question clear here how long the vice president can 
serve as the president in certain situations are you clear like either regarding the retirement or else due to the death of the president here the vice president can serve as a president for how many months if you can move to the options here three months six months 12 months or one month try to answer the question and read the question properly then try to answer it if certain situations if the president is in leave or else something else but here regarding the situation but if the vice president go, goes through the position called president for how long that the vice president can serve as in president are you clear six months anantrao six months divya six months sahana six months yes sri ram regarding the qualification right so as I have informed that here we have covered three articles once you go through the all the six art that means the remaining six articles and then tomorrow in the same question I'll be repeating right so you need to answer Sri Ram the qualification is there any article or not now if I reveal the answer there is no issue I can reveal the answer but you people may not refer after the session if I'll be giving a question for you people then you can go through all your subject once again after the session right that is the main motto as I have informed the remaining six articles you people need to go through it again the sum of the questions on the same concept called vice president I'll be going to rise in our next session that is the main motto just I have covered only three articles in this session are you clear yes if you have still doubt after going through the concept also then rise the same note in the next session I'll be going to reveal the answer too Divya 6 months, Sahana 6, Charan 3 months, Sirisha option A 3 months, Suhan 12 months, you are thinking right Suhan, Sashikumar 6 months, Sriram 6 months, Varshita 6 months, Sudhakar 6, Venkatesh 3 months, Lakshmi 6, either 3 or 6 Krishna you are in still dilemma. Mention any one answer. I have to choose two, three, and six, right? Charan, three months. Lakshmi, Sunil, one month. Many of you are not perfect with this question, I think so, right? Srinivas, six months. Here, the vice president can serve as the president in certain situations for the period of six months option b is your answer many of you have mentioned regarding three months and as well as even you have to consider here regarding 12 months some of you have mentioned make it correct everyone it is actually six months a vice president can act as a president and in which cases here you can consider here in the absence of president either due to death or else resignation or else some other situations only six months period the vice president can act as the president are you clear everyone with the concept yes make it correct many of you have mentioned wrong answer before coming to the session go through the concepts whatever i'll be informing suhan no issues at least tomorrow session make it sure with perfect with the concept called vice president if you people have a book and standard book called indian polity once you go through the concept under vice president is it clear so in that the whole information has been provided once you can refer it and enter into the session in the next class yes next comes to the question called what is the name of sixth and final submarine in the scorpion class under the project 75 which has been launched by the indian navy recently if we can move to the options karanj varsha vaghir vela or vakshir try to mention your answer in the comment section yes suhan now you have answered perfectly right because it's a concept already we have done in the place of cm governor also can act as has a cm what does your doubt lakshmi just mentioned it correctly and next suhan vakshir and even try to mention about all the five other names we have discussed right about the scorpion class submarines this is the sixth and the last one which is known as option e vakshir is your answer yes many of you have mentioned perfectly srikant once recheck prashant 
Vaghir. Some of you have mentioned option A, Venkatesh. Varsha, Lakshmi, Sudhakar, Varsha. Varshita Reddy, Vakshir. Once go through the options clearly, already we have done this particular concept in the study session. You people are following my classes or not? Because in the just previous session I have discussed this concept, right? And today you were not able to answer it. Even I have provided the whole list of all other five submarines, including the sixth submarine also. That is, sixth submarine is recently which was launched in Magazon Dock Limited in Mumbai. That is, Vakshir submarine, right? Which is related for the class called Scorpion class. It is most advanced technology used submarine. That is, Scorpion class which represents. Make it correct everyone and be confident while you are answering. And then, moving to the concept here, question here. Who has been appointed as the next Director General of Military Operations? Here, as I have raised the question in the previous class also, don't be confused between the names of Army Chief. Recently, Army Chief also we have done. Even here, the two names has been categorized. Once you can look into the options, Manoj Kumar Kathiar, Raj Shukla, Manoj Pandey, Rana Pratap Kalita. Here my question is, first I will be giving a clue here, hint here, try to eliminate option B and D. Between option A and C, your first question, answer, are you clear? And your second question is, even try to mention, that means select under these two names, one person has been appointed as an army chief. Who is that person? Two questions at a time you have to answer, right? Yes, Divya, something you have raised, right? Explain another options also when it's launched. Divya, if you have followed my previous session class, there even I have explained along with the dates, months and years. Once go back to 22nd April current affairs, then try to once raise the doubt in the same doubt in our, today, in our next class, right? Divya, follow the classes regularly so that you can understand whether all other like all other submarines launched along with the years under the scorpion class we have done in our previous session if you were absent once go through april 22nd current office and then come to the concept of uh, that is the question now i have raised suhan manoj pandey become uh, became RV, army chief prashant uh, <coughs> manoj kumar kathiar is the director general Sudhakar, option C, Krishna, Manoj, Pandey. Yes, some of you have mentioned, I am new here, ma'am. Okay, if you are new, new also, no issues. You can answer the questions, even I will be explaining. But try to join the sessions regularly. Try to mention your names also, so that I can announce it. Varshita Reddy, Manoj Kumar, Manoj Kumar Kathiar. Manoj Pandey, Sahana, Lakshmi, Manoj Kumar, Chendu, option A, Sahana, option C, okay Divya, no issues. And here comes to all about the Director General of Military Operations is option A. Manoj Kumar Kathiar has been appointed for Director General of what is that military operations and moving to army chief is Manoj Pandey has been appointed. Are you clear with these two names? So just to give you the perfect clarity even I have included the two options in this question because in the previous session I have discussed right you no need to confuse between the two names right. So even if the same question repeats in your any of your examination you people whoever attending my classes should answer perfectly right that is the main motto. Yes. Manoj Kumar Kathiar. Yes, well done Suhan. And then, next moving to the question is, Bilthi Electric recently has made an, made an announcement about this particular US company will be going to establish world's largest electric three-wheeler manufacturing facility in which of the following state? Are you clear? Moving to the options, Karnataka, Odisha, Telangana or Tamil Nadu. This is a new question but try to attempt the question. Whether it is correct or wrong, no issues but try to answer the question everyone. Certain US company recently made the announcement which is regarding all about for the establishment of this electric three-wheeler manufacturing facility in one of the following state. Either it is wrong or right, just mention your answer in comment section. 
no one okay some of you have mentioned karnataka telangana suhan odisha telangana srinivas shrikant option c telangana sahana telangana krishna telangana arif option a karnataka sudhakar option d tamil nadu vinisha option c so here your answer is option c in telangana that is recently one of the us company called billity electric actually had made an announcement in the two phases that this, this will be going to make a facility and will establish world's largest electric three wheeler manufacturing facility in the state of telangana are you clear and make it correct some of you have mentioned the wrong answer those who have mentioned wrong just make it correct and then moving to the next question here finclusion is a financial inclusion initiative launched by which bank paytm payment bank nsdl payment bank jio payment bank or india post payment bank now you people will answer perfectly i think so because today in our session we have just discussed about this particular concept called finclusion seshu option c lakshmi option a so here <coughs> option d vinisha sahana option d and which is actually established in the year 2018 and also it is 100% indian government owned organization at least with the clue try to answer option d ipppb yes indian post payment bank option d is your answer because just now we have done with the concept sudhakar make it correct seshu seshu make it correct option a it's wrong actually your answer is option d india post payment bank just now we have discussed in our session okay yes done with our session if you have any doubts you can mention our comment section i'll be going through your comments maximum if possible maximum number of comments i'll be going all your doubts i can be <coughs> explain and give clarity in the session itself yes and try to go through the concept called vice president in detail without any one doubt also you should be perfect with that particular concept that is my main motto parallel with the static that is regarding the current affairs static part and as well the other subjects like history polity even geography economy in the upcoming sessions i'll be including all the general studies subjects too in the questions and the quizzes too right so we were here to support you always and maintain the same interactive session with us thank you everyone we'll be meeting in our next session with some other concepts until that stay tuned stay safe and stay home